Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this, and welcome to College Algebra in the fall 2017 semester at Ivy Tech. Um, we are using Ivy Learn as our online management system this semester, and this is going to be your home screen. So anytime you log in, uh, this is what you're going to see. Now I do, we'll talk about announcements in a minute, but um, I want you to notice that on this home page, you can get to all 16 modules from this page as all of these are hyperlinks. Um, so if you're working in a particular module, easy way to get there. But I want to start first with the syllabus. So you notice the button I clicked on, you can also get to the syllabus just clicking up here. But you will see it starts with my information. Um, this is my office phone number. Feel free to call it, leave me a voicemail. It goes to my phone, uh, my cell phone, which I always have on me. Um, I check email 75,000 times a day. That is not an exaggeration. Um, I'm located in Warsaw and I do have office hours. So feel free to get in touch with me in any of those ways. I would love to chat with you. Uh, here's my supervisor's information and then all of the important stuff moving down. So I do recommend you take the three minutes it's going to take you to just go through this. Um, due dates are due dates. Uh, Sundays at midnight uh, is the weekly submission deadline for this course. And no, I do not accept late work. Um, you are expected to come to campus twice um, for proctored exams, the midterm and the final. Um, that is any Ivy Tech location. If you can't make it to an Ivy Tech location, but you have a different appropriate proctored site near you, uh, we can talk. So shoot me an email, call me, uh, either one, and we'll talk about that situation, how to make that happen for you. Um, online communication, please be courteous of your classmates. Um, we'll talk about how to get in touch with other people. This is a weighted course, so your exams are 60% of your grade, um, and then homework, quizzes, and discussion boards, whatever, make of everything else. Um, discussion boards, we have six of them in this course. Um, no late discussions will be accepted. There are pretests. Um, notice how pretests are not included in your course grade. However, um, they may be very beneficial to you. And they are prereqs. You have to at least click on the pretest to start your homework. The reason we have these pretests, if you already know some of the information, taking the pretest, if you do well, will take out some of your homework. If you don't know what you're doing in the pretest, don't answer the question so that you can actually learn it in the homework uh, so that you do well on the exams. Now we have 14 homework assignments. They're all in my math lab. There'll be a separate video for that. And I'll talk through some of the um, good pieces of my math lab and how this can help you if you utilize it correctly. Um, we have 12 module quizzes. Um, and two test preparation quizzes. Um, notice how it says for test preparation, you have five attempts. Um, those could, because we want you to make sure you're prepared. For the module quizzes, you only have two attempts. Um, practice tests, these do not count towards your grade. You have an unlimited chance to do these um, because they're practice. We want you to practice as much as possible. So the exams, again, there are two of them. There are 20 questions. You have two hours to take them. They have to be at a proctor site. Okay, course summary. At the bottom here, again, we're in the syllabus tab, you can see all of the assignments and when they're due. So by Sunday, August 27th, you have six assignments. And you might say, what? Well, orientation in my math lab, IB course, IB learn course orientation, module one discussion. These things, hopefully module one isn't overwhelming. There are six things, but this is your intro week. Um, you know, most other weeks have three or four items due. And that's, you know, your homework, your pretest, your quiz. Most things are done in my math lab and then carried over to Ivy Learn. So this midterm exam here in all caps here in week seven, this is your pr the practice piece that is not graded and you can do it as many times as you want in preparation for the module eight midterm exam. Same thing when we get down to module 15, you've got this practice piece and then for the, for the final there. Okay, so that's kind of the syllabus button in all of its glory. Um, the next thing I wanna go back home because you see the course resources, you might want to check that out what's all available, but I want to go to the summary calendar. So when I click on the summary calendar, this beauty comes up. And I don't know about you, but I need to see what's going on. I like to have a spot to check off. I printed this out already for me um, because this kind of gives you a detail of the big pieces, uh, I should say the graded pieces that are going on. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of, hey, I got to make sure I get this stuff done. If you're okay with on, I'll show you the online um, course calendar here in a little bit. That's great. But some people really like something they can hold in their hand. Um, and this is a, a great document for that. So it's got all the due dates on it as well. and they, they do correlate to what you see in Ivy Learn. Okay, so I want to go ahead and jump into the modules. So the modules, 16-week um, course, we have 16 modules. 
oh, sorry. So your, your Ivy Learn course orientation, this may be your first time taking a course in Ivy Learn. And if so, you might want to work through or at least look at a few of these things to see how to submit assignments, sample assignment, that kind of thing. This next piece is resources. You may need some or all of these, some, you know, guided lecture notes, author and action videos. These are the things that you're learning resources to help you through this course. One thing I want to point out is the formula sheets. Midterm and final, you have a formula sheet. I will be sending these to the proctor site um, so that when you go to take the exam and you say, you know, college algebra with Becky Menning, and they say, boom, here's your formula sheet for your exam. So it might be helpful as you're preparing for your midterm exam to be using this formula sheet so that you know exactly what you're getting when you get to that exam. So I want to point that out to you. Again, check out the rest of those. Okay, so a typical module. We're just going to look at module one because they're all kind of laid out the same. But you start with an overview. And this just tells you exactly what we're going to get into in this module. Then we have learning activities. And this, you know, talks you through each piece, which is great. This is very, very well, well written. And then you have reading assignments. And these will take you to um, PowerPoint slides, right? Review the attached PowerPoints. Um, author and action videos, these will take you to guided lecture notes and different things. So you can click on these links. I will show you a different way to get to all of these materials as well. Um, learning activity materials takes you back to where we just were because all of this, well, all of these things are done in my math lab, which again, I'll get to in just a moment. So your homework, this is all done in my math lab, but it talks about, you know, and click on my lab and mastering. Quiz, quiz again is done in my math lab. This just kind of walks you through, but your discussion board you need to access here. So you can read it, right? Here's your, this is what you're answering. M reply to a minimum of two. Um, there you go. Hit reply and get your information out there. Then we go into next steps, right? What can we expect to see in the next module? You'll notice that the majority of your work that you're going to be doing is in my math lab. And we get to that through this My Lab and Mastering button. There will be a separate video that talks about my um, my math lab and how to how to register, what it looks like. Um, but when you click on this button, you're going to see an open My Lab and Mastering button. And I'm not going to get too much into this because we have a separate video for this. If you've already used a Pearson product in the past, you have an account. You can go ahead and sign in with your username and password. It will link to the course. Um, you'll put in your, your code that you have with your book and you're going to be golden. Um, if you haven't used Pearson before, you're going to have to create an account and then it will link it. After you do that linking piece right there, right three minutes, every time you hit My Lab and Mastering, it's going to take you right to your course, um, which is super, super nice. So if you don't have a My Math Lab code yet, you're going to need one. Um, you can get that at the bookstore, or I do believe you can buy it inside this as you're registering um, it, from the, the company. If you use financial aid, you have to do it in the bookstore though, just FYI. Okay, so I'll have another video on my math lab inside my math lab and how that works. Um, announcements, I will post anything in and anything in announcements and you want to make sure that you that you go in there and you read them because if I think something's important that's how I'm going to communicate so it's going to be important that you do that now I want to talk about the calendar I talked earlier about the paper calendar but we also have this online calendar so you'll see I'm in, in um, student view which means I only have this one course and you can see I just have these assignments here on the 27th if you're taking multiple courses let me leave student view I'm teaching six classes this semester, so you can see all of my classes are different colored, and this is what my calendar looks like. So I see on the 25th, I have two things that are due for my mathematical principles class. I have all of these due for my college algebra. Then on Monday, I've got um, section 40B, K1B, and 20B all have things due on Monday. Um, who's pink? K1B quantitative reasoning is due Tuesday, IBYT. <laughs> You know, so you can you can see if you have multiple courses how this can get very confusing, but the color coding is fantastic. And you say, well, Becky, I don't know how to color code. Well, they come colored for you, but if you want to change the colors, I changed mine to make them different. Um, when you go to your dashboard and you have all of the courses that you're enrolled in, if you click on these three dots, it brings up the color. So you can even change the name of your course if you want. I like them to be named what we name them, but if you want it to just be College Algebra or Menning College Algebra, whatever and then you can change right hit a button click apply and it'll change the color I want to go back to that blue because I liked it um, <clears throat> but you can you can change it to be whatever you want 
Okay, so that's kind of how you can change the color. <clears throat> and the last thing that I want to bring up is notifications. So when you see your account, you may, you can put a picture in here if you want, right, by, with your profile. But your account notifications, these are all of your notifications. I highly recommend, and the announcements is the only one that I really care about. You can make your own personal decision on everything else. But the announcement button, I would please ask that you get immediate notification on email if I post a new announcement because if I think it's important that's where I put in an announcement and I don't want you to say well I didn't get that information because I didn't read the announcement I didn't know there was an announcement boom go check your notifications and that way if any of your instructors post announcements you're gonna get an email that says Becky Men and College Algebra posted a new announcement and you can go ahead and check that out if you add your cell phone number to your profile you can click it and get a text message if that if you would prefer um, I don't want my phone blowing up with text messages so I just like to get emails um, but that's up to you and these are all things that that you can you, you know decide how you want to get notifications if you do I recommend you get notified about announcements I haven't checked no because I post them so I know if they're good or not. Okay, on the last thing I want to bring up is the inbox feature, which I will not click on because this is my inbox. Um, if you use the inbox feature in Ivy Learn, that will allow you to communicate with me easily. It sends me an um, email here. Um, also, you can communicate with your classmates. So that's a great um, a great way to communicate with people in your course if you don't want to do that in the um, discussion board forum. So I think that's kind of a basic um, basic walkthrough of the Ivy Learn process and what it looks like. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to email me and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Thanks.